There used to be a quote that was said among church members that went something to the effect that any unmarried man over the age of 27 is a menace to society. I always thought this was a funny quote until I found myself being the target of the quote. And that's what I want to talk about today. This quote has been oftentimes accredited to Brigham Young, but I haven't been able to find any real sources to back this up. But I feel that the sentiment still persists within the church, which is that young adults, and more specifically young men, who choose to postpone marriage are not valuable, and might even be dangerous to society and the community. Can you imagine the awful world we live in if it was populated by 27-year-old single men living their normal lives? I've always wondered why this idea has persisted in Mormon culture, especially since the average age of marriage has been increasing in the last couple of years. And I think I have a couple of reasons. One reason is that there exists the notion that you need to be married to receive all the blessings from God. Many of us have heard the joke that if you are not married in this life, you are going to end up being an administering angel in the next life, which sounds terrifying. The next reason is that Mormons are serious about fulfilling the commandment of replenishing the earth. This was one of the first commandments that God gave to Adam and Eve, so it's viewed as one of the most important ones. And the only way to fulfill this commandment is to get married and put on some Marvin Gaye. Oh yeah! This is unfortunate because I feel that many young adults do want to get married and start a family, but are weary to do so due to obstacles they might be facing, like economic instability, lack of dating options, or personal obstacles such as depression and anxiety. And these things are magnified even more when single adults begin to compare themselves with other Mormon families. When I turned 27 years old, I was dreading my birthday. I felt I wasn't getting anywhere in the dating department and felt pretty lonely. I was still super single and I was sure I was going to die all alone. I was thinking of simply not celebrating my birthday because of how bad I felt. But my friends did eventually convince me to celebrate my birthday and I realized something important that night, which was that I had a lot of people who cared and loved me and that didn't change just because I turned one year older. But there were many things that did change now that I was older. I had become more emotionally open with those around me. I started to exercise more regularly. I also began to dress better. I believe in the time that I have been single, I've also been able to improve myself significantly in many ways and do things that would have been difficult if I was married. I was able to go teach English in China. I've been able to volunteer in my community and start this YouTube channel, which has always been a goal of mine. You can obviously do these things when you are married, however when you are single you simply have more free time on your hands, and instead of binge watching Netflix, I have decided to make the best of it. If you are on the same single boat as I am, my advice is to seize the day, and continue to find joy in single life, because your joy and happiness is your ultimate responsibility, even when you get married. I hope that you enjoyed this video and remember to subscribe to continue watching more videos. Talk to you later.